competitors gather from across the world for this major international tournament outside of Paris. A three-day extravaganza of sporting excellence and no-holds-barred competition for a sport that many people do not recognize or take seriously. Table football, known in the U.S. as foosball. Lily Andres is one of the best in the world. She's multiple German champion and two-time world championship gold medal winner. It's always an honor to represent your country, and this kind of team event is where it's the most exciting. It's so much fun and I've made so many friends. I've seen half the world playing at tournaments. This weekend in Paris, Lily Andres is out to boost her world ranking. She's in both the singles and doubles events. The first side to score five goals wins. Her team includes three other women, but the tournament is very much a male domain, just as many still think of football as a man's game. At first, the men don't take you seriously and patronize you. You always have to show what you're capable of. And in some cases, you then blow them off the table. Some of them find that cool, while others feel that their male pride is under attack. Back in Berlin a few days later, where Lily Andre's sporting career took off. It began playing in the pub with friends. Two years later, she was playing for Germany. They won the World Cup in 2009, and she won the doubles title in 2010. A few months ago, she opened up her own cafe complete with a table football lounge, where the star herself practices. She earns enough from the sport to live off it, a far cry from the early days. Apart from the financial support from my father, I always did odd jobs, from waiting tables to delivering cars. I was always looking to make enough money to make the next tournament. These days, Lily Andres can afford to make longer-term plans. She's a well-known player in her own right and is also featured in the sport's promotional activities. But of course, she's happier at the table than in front of the camera. Her cafe is a popular haunt and training center for enthusiasts. She organizes tournaments and is an inspirational, if intimidating, opponent. Playing against Lily is always awesome. You feel so small when you stand opposite her. She has massive self-confidence. And then there's her technique. Beating Lily is just as hard as beating a good male player, because she's got all the shots and techniques down. She plays just as fast and at an incredibly high level. But despite the increasingly professional nature of the sport, as in so many other countries, table football is not officially recognized in Germany. Most people associate table football with smoke-filled pubs and beer. It's a cliché we have a hard time fighting against. Whenever I can, I try to dispel that cliché. She can also do that as an editor-in-chief of an online magazine, providing reports on major international table football tournaments. And in Paris, she takes the opportunity to interview other players. She hopes that the publicity will enhance the sport's reputation. The ultimate dream is the Olympics. It would be great if that ever happened. Table football won't be added as an Olympic discipline anytime soon. But in Paris, at least, Lily Andres added yet another trophy to her collection.